I'm not calling it year 2022 because all I see in 2022 is three twos So I'm gonna just call this year year 222 prioritize more energy on here So um, I think I'm gonna just kind of go MIA on my other platforms a little bit less this year and try to just post on here a little bit more so Welcome back to my channel. I've been kind of busy today. So I've been doing errands cleaning washing clothes one thing that I really um, want to do for this year is just be more organized and have a cleaner home because I do clean regularly, but I'm always at home. So my home gets dirty like that. I really want to declutter my closet. Um, I am trying to get back into working out once again. Um, in December, I got kind of sick. So now I'm working out more consistently again. And yeah, there's just gonna be a little bit of everything in this vlog, so stay tuned. And if you wanna kind of peep into my life a little bit more, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Laundry. My Betty Boop dolls. Cute killer Kate pillowcases. Um, bro. It's hella fucking sunny out. of my leg growth because as most of you know if you keep up with me you guys know that I work out from home so I ended up putting on this sweater because it is very cold it always gets really cold in my first and second floor because the Sun doesn't really like seep through the window let me zoom in but yeah this is my fit sweater is a I think this is a vintage Supremes are, I'll put the name of these shoes on the screen because I honestly forgot the name and every time I wear these, I get asked. These are really chapped and my nails missing, so excuse that. But um, I always wear my jewelry to work out. Let me know if you guys wear your jewelry to work out. A lot of people are always like, aren't you afraid you're gonna ruin your jewelry? And I'm like, well, not really. Like it, it, besides my rings, like I always take off my rings to do barbell work and like, dumbbell work because I don't want to scratch them up. This baby right here is a chrome hearts, little diamonds on it. So fucking cute. I'm obsessed. These ones are also chrome hearts rings. Um, this one in the middle is a big version of this one. I don't know if you can tell, but if you can see the design, it's a, this one in the middle is a big version of the one I just showed you. And then I'm wearing the fuck you ring. All of my earrings are from chrome hearts as well. I'm only wearing two of them today. And then this is from Juliet Charlotte on Instagram. This is Dream of Jopel. I think that's how you say it. Babe, this chain my mom gave me with this little pendant. This dagger is also my favorite too. I love it so much. I want to get her little angel with the sword pendant she has or charm she has, but I haven't gotten to purchasing it yet. I'm obsessed. Taking this baby today. Oxy Shred Ultra Energy Drinks just dropped. This one is Guava, which I think is my current fave flavor along with Kiwi Strawberry. But there also is Passion Fruit. There is Peach Candy Rings, which a lot of people love. And then a lot of people also really love the Piña Colada. 180 milligrams of caffeine, zero sugar, zero calories. They contain L-carnitine, so if you take L-carnitine daily, you don't have to take L-carnitine when you take these. You are an energy drink taker. Definitely recommend giving these a try. To celebrate the launch of these, EHP Labs is doing a Tesla Model 3 giveaway. So if you wanna enter, I will have all of the details in the description box down below. What you have to do is just take a photo with your can, post it on your IG story and tag EHP Labs and Ox Oxy Shred Energy. And that is how you enter into the giveaway. I just decided to show you guys them really quick because this is what I have been using as a pre-workout 
over the past month since I got them obsessed. They make me feel really focused while I'm working out and they don't give me an, a tingly feeling or an overwhelming feeling. It's like this 3D, it's like this cute 3D packaging. I love it. Whoever designed the packaging just did such a good job. This, I believe you can use code DAISY10 at checkout um, so you can save some coin. And yeah, don't miss out. It's really cold, so I'm wearing like leggings today. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little voiceover for this portion of the video just because I want to talk about a few things. First off, I don't know if any of you guys really take time to kind of work on your mobility, etc., warming up before your leg day sessions, especially if they're heavy leg day sessions, but please do so if you don't, because I promise it will improve your squats, your depth, literally everything. I have been prioritizing my mobility and my ankle mobility, um, working on my hips, um, making sure that I can just get the most depth in the squat as possible. I have been prioritizing working on my ankle mobility specifically because I noticed that my ankle mobility was trash. And as soon as I improved my ankle mobility, oh my God, girl, it made the biggest difference in my squats. A lot of you guys have been telling me that you guys have been noticing that my squats are a lot more ass to grass, which I really appreciate because it just goes to show that these little warmups are definitely making a difference. Another thing I want to get into is front squats and how I basically do my front squats, how I adjust the barbell. I like to do the crisscross method. I've always done the crisscross method since I can remember just because I have weak wrists. I don't find that any other method feels more comfortable. Um, so I brace my core right before I'm going to lift the barbell up from the rack and then I obviously get into position. If you find that you have kind of bad ankle mobility, doing front squats and getting the depth might be a little bit hard. But if you do struggle, um, I definitely recommend putting something under your ankle because that has also helped me and still helps me. I still do it. As you can see, there's a little bit of padding under my feet. It's right under my ankles only, so it kind of elevates my ankles a little bit and it helps me get a deeper squat. So if you have trouble, definitely try that out. Yeah, yeah. Look, look. Okay, so here is another angle of me lifting the bar from the rack, just showing you guys again because I do get a lot of questions on how I get into position for my front squats. I am doing more weight here, but as you can see, the depth is still there. I love doing front squats because it just has helped me really engage my core and build my core strength. As most of you guys know, I work out from home and I've been working out from home for like the past year, over a year now. But girl, oh my God, I love squatting. I have fallen back in love with squatting. Any form of squat, I'm obsessed and just really building my strength and ah, I don't know. I'm just so happy. This makes me so happy. Already it's real, I don't know about you. She just wanna smoke and fuck. I said, girl, that's all that we do. Fuck. And now you're talking about I am already fucking dying, but I kind of want to do some regular barbell squats, so I think I'm going to do that. I might only do three sets. Just added the weight. I did a 25 and a 35 on both sides. I'm fucking winded. High five. Good boy. Heard you 
of produce every time I go to Costco. You get a bomb ass deal. So I got mangoes, fresas, limones, aguacates, platanos, jitomate, platanos, manzanas, crushed red pepper. But dude, I'm so excited for this because our spoons are fucked up. So I'm happy I was able to get us some new ones at a really good deal. Shout out Costco, literally the fucking plug. Tofu, are you waiting for Johnny? Waiting for Johnny? 